do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Drew Y'all, we back, back with another Everybody Banger, banger. Yeah. you feel me? Listen, Dusty's looking super sexy right now, isn't she? Thank you. Technically, I can say Dusty's looking super sexy all the time, but if I said that, I'd be lying. Use a lie. Anyways, man. Use a lie. Today, we tend to be watching some pets that turned on their owners. These pets ate their owners. Me, I feel like personally myself, right? What? Myself, like personally, animals respect me. You know what I'm saying? We went to the zoo, the wolves, they wanted to, they realized I was the alpha so they came and bowed their head down. We went to the zoo again, lions came, purred, going up to the glass when I was standing there. Okay, that one's cap. Just let me please. I, I held the baby lion cub. It peed on me because it knew I was this master. And what did the other one do? The tiger tried to bite me, but realized I was more dominant, so it nicked me a little bit. So what I had to then do- Then we had to run over there and grab that thing. No, I was, no. If y'all didn't know, we was in Cancun, right? And I held the baby lion cub. The lion cub was all in love, whatever. It peed on me and stuff like that. Then a tiger cub came up behind me, bit my back a little bit, and I hit it with a little You feel me? And it ran away. You know, I, that's the meow that scares me. That's what the alphas do. You ever heard, you mm -hmm. watched Lion King before? I was, y'all, I was going crazy. Did you watch Lion King before? Yeah. You heard him do that? Who you Simba that? did that to the to the um, no, to the Bufasa and stuff. You know what I'm no, saying? But well, anyway, it's gonna be react to this. Uh, but like I was saying, I don't think anybody, any of my pets or any pet would actually try and turn on me because they know I'm an alpha. No matter what, I'm an alpha male. I'm an alpha animal. I'm an alpha as a. I don't whore. do pets because I feel like they always gonna turn on you one day. Okay, Miss Dark and the de de depressing. There ain't no animal finna turn on you. That's why I don't do animals. <sighs> Anyways, before we get into the video, cops up with you right now. I'm saying my two third free bundle up to 750 dollars. I just hit my head pretty hard there, but it's okay. This is the new desire. Go check it out, man. Y'all gonna want to copy it. It's super sexy, super flashy, super, 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 super. Wait, you know what I'm saying? This is for the work in progress people. If you're not just there yet, you're still working on your way, you need to cop this right now. We also got another Drew Rag design that just came out. If you no, know what you got to say about that one? Destiny helped with this design a little bit. Okay, she helped <laughs> with it. Destiny did that. This is my design. I want to say it's your design. This is my design. Go ahead. Anyway. Your next one, five two. You did that one all by yourself. I got another one that came out too. One that says not a waiver. So you don't want to cop that too if you're not a waiver, but you're still trying to wear a do right. I'm saying. But without further ado, let's just hop right into this, man. Like and subscribe right now. Oh! You're gonna have terrible, what just happened? Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next. Bro, what is you Pets doing? Are adorable. They're cute, furry, and are amazing companions. But love them as you may, they sometimes show a terrible side. Cat side you never would have believed. See, like who would have you, you wanted a. You literally said you wanted a. Snake. Not. Hey, what's that sound? <laughs> oh. What you heard? Not like that. I felt some. Heard something moving or something. But not that big of a snake. And look at this man, he got lions. Ah, you know I don't want lions. I'll get a lion cub. Yeah, it's not happening. Who not happening? Man, it's not happening. Hang it up. But who's not happening? It's not Boys and girls, coming up are 10 stories. Wait, hold on. There were owners. Number 10. A woman, her hamster, and a strange incident. Her hamster killed her. There's no way a hamster would kill somebody. Let me turn it. Hamsters are generally harmless pets. No one would even kind of think of a hamster when considering animals who could kill their owners. But this story shows that thinking may just be flawed. In this strange incident, a woman was found dead in her apartment. This, of course, is a sad occurrence, but it isn't too uncommon. However, what made the incident strange was the fact that her pet hamster was feasting on her. Now, again, this isn't too strange if you consider that she may have died of a heart attack. If that had happened, it wouldn't be too shocking to discover that her hamster would feast on her dead body. Now, what made this story extremely strange is the fact that there were strange markings on her face. After careful investigation, investigators discovered that the woman owned a free-range golden hamster. Upon further investigation, a more macabre sight was found. Right inside one of the drawers inside the house was a terrible and downright grotesque sight. It was the hamster's burrow, and it was made of human skin. What? What is a human skin burrow. burrow? I guess that's like this. They, they make like beds or something. I guess. Uh. Fat and muscle tissue. 
This hamster hadn't only feasted on its owner, it had also made its new home from the body of its owner. Now that- Not gonna lie, that's true love, you feel me? Like, listen, Destiny, for real though, you not going to sleep like with my dead body? No. Okay, a part of my dead body? No. Okay, like, some of my dead body, any mm. of my, none of it? None? Not a single thing? Like, if I, my pinky was cut off, you wouldn't want that in there. My nail or something? Nothing? A braid or something? Bro? It's some terrible stuff. That's you don't love me for real, man. Because I would want a piece of her. Or at least it could be you. I would hang it on my neck, to be I'm honest. Hopping through grease with a... You would hang my finger on your neck. If you got a little, like, if you get cremated and you get a little dust, do a little dust on my neck. Be like, it's my yeah. baby right here, that's man. That's one thing. It's my baby right here. But that's... Wait, is that weird? No, people do that all the time. What? So, should we do it? I don't want to be cremated. So, okay. Okay. Number nine. You want to be cremated? I don't the know. The family ferret and the child. Many families own Man, two babies for ferret that shouldn't kill my baby. I swear case. I'm killing every ferret, a ferret in the world. And a baby. They don't know this, but ferrets are dangerous animals, and babies are especially defenseless. While many families think that ferrets are agile and cute, they fail to realize that ferrets have other properties too. For one, they have a pair of sharp, piranha-like teeth and have a taste for flesh. Catch Ferrets are basically like furry little vampires. One day, a Missouri family was awakened by the crying of their child. They guessed only two things. One, he might be hungry, or two, his diaper may need changing. Never in their wildest imagination would they have guessed what they saw when they walked into the nursery. They met their bloodied child crying because their pet ferret had eaten seven of their baby's ten fingers off. They Whoa! Seven of the fingers? Ate it clean? So the baby got three fingers. For the rest of their life. But why would the ferret just want to eat the fingers? You know what I'm saying? That didn't even make sense for real. You know what I'm saying? Man, what's really going on, bro? They're able to take their baby to the hospital for recovery. This is And sick. they managed to kill the ferret. Amazingly, that's not the only example we know of where ferrets tried to kill a baby. In another example, a couple came to their drawing room to meet their newborn baby being eaten alive by the three pet ferrets. Remember? You want a ferret? That's why when I have a baby, I'm not having no pets. The fact that you still on this whole, I'm not, we, we is we. having pets. No, we're not. We're having cats and dogs and rabbits and snakes Boy, you know you and lie. fishes. That's a whole zoo. And no. probably if I can get a lion legally, no. Legally have no lion. I'm saying, no, we're not. Okay, we'll meet in the middle. I'll just get we're the lion. We're not I'll just get animals. the, we're meeting in the middle though. No, no. There's no, you don't, you don't get to go. Just remember this video, screenshot this. And send this to me when you see me post my new vlog. I just bought a lion. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark Vogel and the Deadly Spider. Mark Vogel was a 30 year old from Germany. I don't want to watch this. That made me. I don't want to army of exotic pets. Why you can't watch it? I don't do spiders. <gasps> Look at that side. Oh, it's raining. Aww. Let's watch turn the spider it, now. Turn the spider off? No, let's watch the spider. For Come real. On. It's cool. Oh, it's going to make Players, me cringe. Snakes, termites, and a gecko. Mark often kept these pets in a cage because he understood how dangerous they were. But of all of his pets, one was especially dangerous. That's a pretty snake. And Mark knew it. However, sometimes even foreknowledge can't help you. One day, the inevitable occurred, and the pet that Mark was most scared of, a black widow spider, escaped her cage. Oh. And from then onwards, it was game over. What about you most scared? Why do you even have them? Rarely kill people, they can cause muscle cramps. And these muscle cramps can paralyze one to the stage where they can't call for help. It seems this was precisely what happened to Mark. Dang. Once he was attacked by the spider, it was over. Dang. Soon after, all his pets escaped from the cages he put them in, and they decided to feast on him. Dang. When investigators found Mark's body, it was covered in cobwebs, and they estimated that he must have been dead for 7 to 14 days. Dang. I know it's stunk in there. It's not like straight dead bodies and spiders. Number 7. Never keep a wolf dog. Sandra had raised a pack of not- I don't think we should watch this because I'm trying to get Destiny not be scared of dogs and this isn't going to help. But this is a wolf dog. They're it's different. over with. No, but this is Go a wolf ahead. dog. It's different. Nine wolf dogs all on her own and she was extremely devoted to them. However, it seemed that the love only went one way. 
She was devoted to them, but they certainly were not devoted to her. One day, after she missed a meeting with her daughter, her estranged husband went out to look for her, only to discover that her body was in the cage of the wolf dogs, and it had been partly eaten. She had bled to death after being bitten, clawed at, and generally being injured. After her death, the wolf dog hybrids dragged her to their cages to continue the feast. Till today, we don't know why these wolf dogs had behaved like this, but we've learned one lesson. Always be aware be of wolf dogs. Too. They can become quite unpredictable. Number six. I want you to know that's not that's a that's wolf dog. dog. It's a wolf dog. That's dog. But it's a wolf dog. That's dog. It's different. So they unpredictable. Unpredictable. <laughs> say that word again. Unpredictable. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can say uh, what yeah, you want. Yeah. It's raps. The unnamed man and the bull terrier. When this unnamed man from Liverpool didn't show up to- This ain't a regular dog, it's a bull terrier. It's a bull terrier, it's not a regular his dog. His neighbors got worried. They called the police to check out his home to see if something was wrong. The police went to check on him and they found his corpse. Upon entering his house, his dog, a bull terrier, was highly agitated. At first, the police officers imagined that the dog was that way because his owner was dead. However, upon further investigation, it was discovered that the dog had been feasting on its owner for a while. That's right, the Bull Terrier had eaten parts of his owner before the police found him. He probably died already. No. And since he died... Even no. if he do, you just want your animal, so Simba and Leo just gonna come out here and just eat you alive. No, but listen, listen, listen. I'm explaining, right? No. He probably no. died, like from a heart attack or something. And since there was nobody to feed him, he had to do what he had to do. Eat the, eat the person. He didn't want to, that's why I was only eating a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They Bishop, can go without okay. eating for days. Bishop used to have two cats, right? He left them for a very long time, three, four weeks, something like that. No food, right? The other cat ate the other cat. Because they had to. The other cat ate the other cat because they had to. You know what I'm saying? It's just a survival thing. It's not because they won. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying. This cat Fine. ate the other cat? His, uh, yeah, the other cat. This is going to make me cringe. That is disgusting. That's nasty. You better stop. For that I, is nasty. You better stop for all that Simba and Leo out here. And you over here talking about some hot you, hot you. That's nasty. Uh, the story of Janet Veal and her feline friend. That's too much. Too Janet enough. Veal was a British 56 year old reclusive cat owner. She had several cats and rarely left her home. However, after a very long time of not seeing Janet, her neighbors called on the police to come and check out her home. When they came, the sight they met was just extraordinary. Janet this is literally how I visualize people's house when they got a lot of cats. Dead okay, but that's OD. Not everybody got that many cats. Two cats No, met. I told you about the lady in my sister neighborhood that had like 10 cats yeah. on the balcony. That's how I vision her house. And it was all black cats. Oh, yes. She was surrounded by dead and living cats. The living cats had survived by gnawing off pieces of her body. And the dead ones had simply starved to death. Imagine being a police officer and finding such a scene. I know it's stunk in there. Before. Stunk bad. The hogs. You know hogs eat anything. If you try to get rid of a body, you two are not gonna They eat anything and people eat body, that. If you try to get rid of a body though. And they don't sweat. So how they release their toxins? No, but for real though, listen. First of all, pigs are man-made, but we're not gonna get into it. I'm not gonna expose the whole yeah. lot of them. But um, they literally eat anything. You're trying to get rid of a body, give it to a bunch of hogs. Like if you yeah, have a bunch of hogs, it. Yeah, but the alligators, they can leave pieces, you know what I'm saying? Because it's in the water, so, and they're shaking it around. Hogs is just going to sit there and go eat it, because they eat anything. If you try to get rid of a body, you watch that show, How to Get Away with Murder? Like, this should have been the whole the whole movie. Just get a bunch of hogs. Oh. There's probably no worse... Don't ask why I know that, how I know that, just... Way to go than being eaten and dismembered by hogs. Or can you think of a worse way to go out? Maybe by drowning in a pot of boiling oil? Seriously, that's the only way worse than being dismembered by a couple Cows of Cows man-made too, right? Sad if- Cows? Um, I mean the ones that you see. Mostly, yeah. But there are real ones still here. But the whole species ain't man-made. As this situation may sound, it was one that befell one farmer in Oregon. Terrence Vance Garner, a 69-year-old farmer, went to feed his animals on his farm near the Oregon coast and never returned. Soon enough, a family member found his dentures and pieces of his body in the hog enclosure. Sadly, most of his remains had been consumed by the hogs. Now, this doesn't mean that the hogs ambushed Terrence when he came to the farm. What's more likely is that Terrence had a medical emergency, like a heart attack, and fell right in the middle of the hogs. That could have led them to feasting on him. 
Another likely reason for Terence's death is that he may have been knocked down by a hawk, was killed by a stampede, and then eaten. This is a likely explanation because at least one That's a horrible way to die. Mm -hmm. A horrible hog had previously bitten Terence. This situation was especially strange because domestic hogs are not That's known to be fighting. But as you hog. know, stranger things have happened. Number three. The bull. Bulls would be surprised. extremely scary all. animals if they had a taste for blood, but they don't. For the most part, bulls just want to laze around and eat some grass. At least this seems to be the general idea. However, sometimes general ideas are just that. General ideas. Ricky was a man who loved his cattle. He loved spending time it? with them, and he spent more time with- That's Simba trying to oh, open the door. Like, sound like somebody trying to work into my thing. I hope it's not a hog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Boy, shut up. <laughs> then his calf was about to be born. He had a barn for his domesticated pets in Philadelphia, and he often spent his time there. Sadly, the farm was where he would spend his last breathing moments. The day before his 53rd birthday, one of his bulls, in a fit of rage, charged him and injured him fatally. He died from his injuries. Now it's time for Man, I don't care about you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Our best picture for today was sent in by a subscriber. If you come across a picture online and want to know more about it, <laughs> what the heck is this? Who knows? Your picture might even feature in a future video. What the heck is that? Number two. Uh. Marius and the Hippopotamus. That's oh, not shocking either. But hippos is so big and ugly and disgusting. Yeah. No offense to hippos if you're a hippo watching this. There's no offense in it like Why that. Why are they both You want to pay the phone? Mm -mm. you see a hippopotamus, what do you think? Are you scared out of your mind or are you perfectly indifferent? They plan with this thing too. To put that question in context, consider this astonishing fact. Hippopotamuses are the most dangerous large land mammal they are. on the planet. Everybody knows that. Yes, even more dangerous than lions, and tigers, and jaguars, and wolves, and any other land mammal they you can they think can of. Swallow you whole. Now that you know this fact about hippo, you mean must swallow me whole. Oh boy. Would you consider having them as pets? No, right? Well, Marius didn't care about that. He owned a hippopotamus regardless, and he paid dearly. Marius kept his pet hippopotamus at his farm in Free State, the province right. of South Africa. Despite being warned several times about the dangers of keeping such a dangerous animal as a pet, he didn't That's him. Instead, he referred to the animal as a son to him, and he shunned the advice of everyone else. Well, a few years ago, he was found floating in the river. His body had been thoroughly chewed up by the hippopotamus. It was a sad sight, of course, but no one was seriously shocked. It was always going to happen. At least he happy, bro. That's really all that matters. He died really. happy. He died with his son. His son didn't kill him. His son just missed. He meant to bite the watermelon, but his head looked a little easier to chew on. Saying... Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. Not gonna lie to you. Twenty-five years of amazing luck. Man, fun. The Bengal tiger, black bear, and the African lion. Tigers, bears, and lions are scary on their own, but combining three of them. I heard this story before. It's like they, they're all orphans, the tiger, the bear, and the lion. So they're all orphans and like somebody put them all together. The animals could be orphans too? Like their parents, like all their parents died or something like that. I think that's mm -hmm. how it was. And then they ended up like living together and surviving together. Yeah, and then they all died slowly one by one and it was all so sad when the, when the other died. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that's what this story is. I think it is. That's a great recipe for a nightmare. Strangely, a lady named Kelly Ann Walls decided that she'd keep three of them and it ended just as you think it would. One day, while she was cleaning the cage of her black bear, she got mauled to death. Yeah, I don't know about this story. Attack and consequently called the authorities, but it was too little too late. She was dead, and that was about that. That's it, guys. If you enjoyed this- Yeah, I don't think that was a scary story I was yeah. talking about. That, that man just said she been dead and that Look was Look at it. that biggest snake. That's the 18 wheeler that thing is on top of. Wait, we not looking at the same thing? What do you mean? <laughs> Boy, sure. Anyways, y'all, that's the end of the video now. So if y'all enjoyed it, make sure you like right now. Let me know in the comments down below. You got any exotic animals? Do you know anybody with any exotic animals? I feel like getting a monkey would be cool. You want a monkey? I felt like that too, but I used to see the monkeys slap people and all that. I don't know what's with that. And monkeys, the more and more people I see with them, they really real ugly. So <laughs> they would make me cringe. We get a monkey too. Don't worry That's about it. That's the thing with most of the animals. They make me cringe. What animal make you cringe? That's God's creation, and it just make you cringe. Yes, I'm sorry, Lord. I don't mean it, but, but you, you created me it. like this. 
I didn't make you like this. I'm sorry. Let me know if I like that. Anyways, y'all. Let me know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below. Before you dip out, comment something for Jurek by 2 or 3. You're going to figure out about enough and say yourself in that I love playing. And I'm a C. Y'all. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through, 